Nancy Lautenbach hangs up shirts painted with pain. As a sexual assault survivor herself, her perspective has been riveted on Nicole. I've been focusing really on more of her as, as the victim. And um, I think society or the general public has been looking at OJ. Hopefully the seriousness and the reality of domestic violence will be seen by the verdict. When it's time, Joanne Paul of the YWCA plugs in her radio. For a guy from Kaylin, two people are dead, and somebody did it. The curious gather round. I'm nervous. All ears are tuned to the juror's voice. For Joanne, it's time to pull the plug. Our, our job has just begun. My first reaction was just to break down and cry, um, but I'm really angry too. I just. I just feel like there is no justice. There is no justice for the victim. In Grand Rapids, Hillary Norman, News 3. That will be in my mind that bus 20 was the one that I retired on. She's just been like a great friend. My name is Yvonne Winsel and I have been driving for Hamilton Community Schools for 19 years. Well, I think she's looking forward to retirement, but I think she's also feeling a little bad about leaving the job. She, she likes being here too. Good morning, boys. Ethan, how was it? Oh, thank you. That's our appreciation sign for Mrs. Wenzel, who has served many, many years for us. And she's been the, the most unique and wonderful, kind bus driver who goes out of her way to help you. Oh, that's, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Good morning. This is for oh, you. Thank you. I miss the kids and I'm going to miss my co workers very much so. I really can't believe all of this. Mrs. Wenzel has been the one, the best bus driver we could have ever had. She made riding to school and back every day fun for the kids. I always enjoyed driving bus, it was a nice job. I guess that shows what they think of me when they bring all these things in telling me thank you and I guess I have done a job that was well done. First, you have to put the base on. Some of the girls don't wear any, and I'm just trying to make myself look maybe a tiny bit older. And I think the thing I like about it is I get to be whoever I want to be. My name is Joellen Young, and uh, my character is the mother. I play the mother superior. I'm the, the head of all these nuns. <laughs> I don't like ha having to worry all the time about, you know, where my next job is and where my, or my uh, next income is coming from. First and foremost, it's a job. I mean, no, you have to think about that. And this, in, it's true, it's true. in a profession where only 10% of the actors are working at any given time, a job is a big deal. Here, I think the play is the thing, you know, which a lot of people say it's not all of the, the electronics and the air conditioned comfort and everything else. It's, it's just the play. 
I think that's what makes this piece fun for the audience and what makes it work. They actually have more fun, I think, when we surprise ourselves. <laughs> Last night I ran out and I said, the Franciscans are back, and she swears I list. So all of a sudden it was Sylvester saying, the Franciscans are back, the Franciscans are back. You didn't hear right first. I didn't ask. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a circle. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this theater, it's an energy passing circle. We all hold hands in drone and tone. Tone, yeah, chant. Sure. <laughs> all right. It develops because we've worked together so intensely. And this show just kind of lends itself to, you know, wackiness. Go up about 150 feet. Just somebody that's familiar with climbing and heights. Usually, somebody that uh, really doesn't mind the heights. Some people just never get used to it, others do. And most of these fellows have worked at it quite a few years, so they're quite familiar with, uh, with what's going on here. Not really much, I guess, you know, it's all hard work. Just have to, I don't know, like it, I guess. Yeah, my role would be more or less the guy that climbs up high, not scared of heights. <laughs> you just one mistake up here and it could be the end of your life. I mean, you're a hundred some feet up in the air, you make one mistake, you're gone. <laughs> this is the first soybean processing plant uh, to be built in the state of Michigan. Like they had to really plan which to bring in first, mostly. You get to start from nothing, and all of a sudden you end up with a floor. A lot of this maintenance, this will be about like the second or third one we put in. We're looking to, to the future to, to make a market for the farmers and utilize the, the products coming out of here in the same market. Typically, a growth is expected here, and I, I think uh, it, it's real positive for the area. The meal market has grown to a position where it's uh, uh, large enough to support something like that, and uh, the bean uh, growth in the area has increased as well. Really, one of the favorite parts that we see is the finished product. It gives you a satisfaction of knowing that you uh, accomplished something and got to see the end result of it. And uh, we really, uh, this is in our, in our business, we really appreciate this. This is a satisfaction for each person. I feel great because I've been a uh, football fan and I've attended almost every game since 1945. My name is Sonny Fred Antonio and this is my father George Fred Antonio. We have been loyal Brown fans since 1962. Art Modell has been a customer in here before he moved to Baltimore. For uh, about 35 years when he bought the team he came in here my father's been cutting his hair. How many wins do you think they'll have their first year? Jerry thinks they're going to have win nine games this year. How many games do you think they're going like to win? I like that boss? guy. I was going to say 14, but that's no, too much. No, yeah. Cut it down. Six <laughs> and ten. Six and ten. We needed that break away to get everybody back in line to remember the cardiac kids. That, to me, was football. I'm glad to see him come back, but I don't... Uh, appreciate the PSLs and that. I was a season ticket holder for 49 years, and I gave up my seats. Brandon, tell your barbershop. Still lacking, still lacking. A local fullback and a wide receiver. What is your opinion of the Cleveland Browns? Is it going to be the rookie or the veteran? The veteran. You think the veteran? 
but before this season's over, it'll switch to Tim Couch. Yes. Because he's getting paid the money to produce, plus he's a franchise quarterback. I think it's going to all be determined on Couch, actually, what he's more comfortable with. Uh, what, what he, he get, does. And what he gets I used to. I agree. Because if the quarterback's not comfortable with that kind of offense, he's not going to get it, be successful. Right. Uh, I think they'll start with a rough, with a rough start. But once they start to get going, they'll get a little better. Um, I think the Pittsburgh fans are just as big fans as the Browns. They just root for the wrong team. Huh. <laughs> I think the fans are going to rally again, and we're going to have a good football team because. We can't survive without having football in Cleveland. The point that Carmen Policy is Italian, of course, changes the picture a little bit for me. And Al Lerner, well, he's a very, very good friend. And uh, I wish him both the very best of luck. You know, everything in life, two things, even with the football. God bless you. It's forward or it's backward. You can't tread water very long, one way or the other. So we'll see. All right, good luck for the season, too. And we got a date for the Super Bowl.